All right. So <laughs> I I'm, I'm I'm sort of taking a break from watching. How long are these videos? Eh, two and a half. It looks like two and a half hours. Yeah, I was just, I was I was sitting here watching a bunch of skits from Tales of Eternia and thinking. I want to play some Hearthstone, so I, I, I've set that aside for now, um, and have that, uh, for, for a later time. But now it's Hearthstone time. Hello, everybody! Hearthstone time. Um, like I said, I've, I know that the, the, the time on this is quite late, uh, it's, you know, for me at least it's 1am, um. So you might be catching this on the VOD. It's it's more likely than not that you're catching this on the replay. If so, hello. And if you're here right now, also hello. Um, we're going to be doing another arena. Uh, I was going to do more Eternal, but... And this is a thing I've... I've, I've, I've a, a, sort of a thing with Eternal I've had, where... Like, the, the player base on the game is small enough that playing it during, like, super late hours has way too long of a wait time for me. So, anyway. So I'm doing an arena, which there's, like, billions of people playing Hearthstone. That's not true. Billions is wrong. Um, I gotta decide what I want to do. I brought these up yesterday when I was doing these. We did a warrior, uh, which I've got a... That one I should have uploaded, like, tomorrow. But, um... Druid? kind of wanted to do the Druid. I think I've done a Druid uh, in this. Yeah, I think I've done one Druid in this. But I'm still interested in it. So, I think I'm going to do that. Uh, we did Warrior last time, and I've done Priest a little too often as of late. Not too terribly often. I actually think it's quite a good class, is the reason. It's one of my favorites. It's always been one of my favorites. Hey, Teen Wolf Dad. Hey, Benak. Hey, Huzzah. How y'all doing? You are yeah, we're going to do wait. Druid. Dru uh, oh, oh, we did Druid, though, already. Hmm. Have I done all three of these in the new arena? I think I have. I'm pretty sure I have. I did... Okay. I did Warrior yesterday. I did Druid because I've done Living Mana shenanigans. I remember that one now. Okay, I've done Druid before. And I've done... Have I done Priest in the new one? Was the last one Time Traveling Priest, actually? Hmm, last one might have been the Time Traveling Priest, now that I think about it. Which, yeah, huzzah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Like, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, oh, I've done a Priest in the new arena. Well, it's like, mm, no, you haven't. You've done a Priest in the old arena. You know, let's, before we start, and people might be coming on in, so I want to... Let me take a look at... Actually, I can filter through here. Ungoro... Priest. And crafting page. Okay. This card's excellent. This card's excellent. This card's pretty excellent. This card's weird, but I think it's good. This card's pretty excellent. This card's pretty excellent. This card is... Extru is, is I like this card a lot. I don't know if it's going to be great in the arena. And Freed from Amber... Is that a blue? Ooh. Hmm. That actually seems incredible as top end. It's like whatever top end you need. Alright. Okay, so there's only a couple cards I don't like. Alright, let's do Priest. They have a two drop at common. Again, do I want to do elementals? I kind of like doing elementals. And also Priest has an in-faction in elemental. Actually, again... You'll see me doing this a lot to reference cards. Yeah, Crystalline Oracle is an elemental. This is what I was checking. I didn't remember if this was an elemental or not. I did remember that Radiant Elemental was an elemental. It does say so in the name, but Crystalline Oracle does not say so in the name. Yeah, this one is just like what it says on the tin. You can't even use it with Ochni, so it's just like, okay. Shrug. Alright. We'll go ahead and play Tolvir. I like doing elemental stuff, and the card's fine on its own. Ooh, speaking of elemental stuff, want to start with Crystalline Oracle? 
Ooh, Crystalline Oracle's a good one drop, and good one drops are hard to come by. It's also good curve, it's an elemental, so you can fit it anywhere on the curve. Mirage Caller is strong too, but Mirage Caller is stronger with something like Crystalline Oracle. Um, um, and we know Doppelgangster. Doppelgangster's good. Uh, we're not in a hand buff class, but it's still a good card. We're in with Oracle, though. Mirage Caller again. Or do I want the Golok Crawler? I don't want the Humongous Razor Leaf. I mean... Purify isn't in the arena. For good reason, too. But, like, I'm not picking a card with can't attack as text. I think the wrong crab is probably the pick here. Mirage Caller is stronger in a constructed deck when you can control better what uh, you can get rid of. Like, like you... When, or sorry, what you copy with, with Mirage Caller? Like, right now, like, yeah, Crystalline Oracle copying is very good. Uh, that's, that's card advantage, but... When when we're building our deck like this, we can't always take advantage of that with like some sort of death rattle, and also two drops. We've we've talked about two drops are pretty important. Uh, Shadow Madness versus Volcano Sword. I'm not picking Greater Healing Potion. You know. What? Sure, Mighty Dictron. Let me quick do this. Hello? Hey. Okay. So once we get into the games, you can just throw on the spectator, right? Yeah, I updated last night, so I should be able to. Excellent. So yeah... I have I checked uh, your audio, by the way. It seems fine. Perfect. I just kind of assumed it wouldn't touch it, so... <laughs> and I was like, well, I just did a card game thing. Anyway, I think this one's Volcanosaur versus Shadow Madness. Volcanosaur is real good. Shadow yeah. Madness, also pretty good. Yeah. I like the Volcano... The Volcanosaur is always this, like, you play it and it's like... Vol it's it's like wind fearing taunt or like it has so many like good places to be. Yeah, what's like what's the the worst case result on Volcanosaur? That'd be like what uh, the spores and probably plus one plus one spores. Yeah, and that's even then that's still pretty pretty solid really for the amount. Of that you're putting into it. Right. You're getting, like, what's that common that makes three Murlocs? It's... I, I couldn't tell you its name. I don't... It, it's a common that makes three Murlocs. I might pick up the Volcanosaur. Oh. Yeah. Volcanosaur's Return. Uh, Corrupted Seer and Shadow Word Horror. How many Volcanosaurs is too many Volcanosaurs? That's a good question. Do I want a Sweeper? Is Corrupted Seer a good enough Sweeper to pick that up? It's probably a better sweeper than Shadow Ward Horror. Yeah, Shadow Ward Horror I don't I don't like. I don't think that's actually good enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Second Volcano Sword seems good, but I think having a, some sort of sweeping capability in the deck is also good, even though we're in a class that has, like, Holy Nova at common. Like, it's still good to have this. We might just never get offered it again. So. Yeah, that's true. Granted, doing two damage to all creatures that your everyone controls, what well, your opponent controls even, is a thing that priest can do if you get handed it. Yeah. Oh, oh, well. <laughs> that is really true, and I think the corrupted seer is extremely funny compared to like that one dragon that what do the sweeping. Yeah, it's like a four eight taunter. Uh, this one's tentacle of Zoth, Gurubashi berserker, and hog trapper. The four four hog. Which, none of which stand out to me, but, like, we can make use of a Gurabashi, I suppose. 4-4 four, four Hog yeah. happened last time. It did. Once, and then immediately got turned off, but then it happened again, <laughs> and it wasn't useful. But it happened. <laughs> that was the best part. It was like, it happened, I immediately turned it off, and then it happened again. And I think he still lost that game. 
No, I, 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 I took that. I, I took that one, and I, I won that game because, like, I had lethal on board when I had the hog chopper anyway. Oh, fair. Okay. But it just it didn't do anything in the sense that I already had a lethal without it. I'm gonna pick Gurubashi. Gurubashi's always fine. Hmm. Synergize is in this class, even somewhat. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's sort of why. Like, uh, you can heal it up and just keep it moving. Um, this one's pretty simple to me. Fairy Dragon versus Fen Creeper and Squirming Tentacle in the world of I Need Two Drops. Yeah, so Fairy Dragon, no flat. flat. Yeah, also Fairy Dragon's, like, a good card. Like, Although distinctly slightly worse than Priest because you can't heal it. Oh, no! Can't believe this. <coughs> Argent Squire versus Mind Vision versus the most... Stupid five drop at common in the set. Nesting rock, the four seven that can gain taunt. Yeah, well, gross. The thing is very silly. If you have at all anything, any re like semblance of a board, and I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna pick that over the Argent Squire. I have a golden mind vision. Oh, it's a, it's a base set card. Of course, I have a golden mind vision. I can't not have a golden mind vision. Yeah. <sighs> Sabertooth Stalker, Volatile Elemental, and Young Dragon Hawk. So, the Stalker is, like, basically Solid Snake, but bigger and easier to kill. Yeah. Uh, volatile Elemental, he... Does work and is a two. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. It's it's not a card like there are some times you actually just can't play it on two, but those times are the times your opponent also passed on two. Yeah. And we have we already have one elemental synergy card. Can't hurt to pick up more more of these things. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of elemental <coughs> synergy cards, uh, Blaze Callers here along with that Drake we just talked about. Oh boy. Oh man, blazing it. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Blaze it. And Bright Eyed Scout, <laughs> which I actually like that card, the the card draw. Yeah, that that's uh very variable in how good it can actually be, but it still draws you a card no matter what happens, so. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So we have two elementals right now. We're one third of the way through the draft. There's elementals in class. Blaze Caller is going to be just fine in here. Mm -hmm. um, Primordial Drake though is like no slouch of a card. Um, I there will definitely be situations where it's better than this, but I'm, a, I'm going to blaze it. Well, yeah, there are sometimes situations where Flame Strike is better than uh, <laughs> Fireball. That happens. Right. And it's like, well, which one of those is the... <laughs> I think in a vacuum I picked the Flame Strike. Anyway, uh, Egg Napper versus Scarlet Crusader versus Naga Corsair. Well, Naga Corsair, uh, we don't have weapons, so I don't really care about that. But probably Scar Egg Napper, Egg Napper and Scarlet Crusader are very similar cards. Right. One of them leaves two one ones behind, and one of them leaves a three one behind <laughs> when it dies. Yeah. So, I'm just I'm gonna go with the Scarlet Crusader. That's the one I have a little more like respect for. Oh boy. Oh, oof. I saw Nether Spite Historian and Evolved Cobalt, and I was like, "Oh, this sucks." But Shadow Word Pain is our third option. Well, that's not a que That's not a question then. Yep. Give me that pain. Um, well, now despite Historian's back, Razorfin Hunter, and Primal Fin Lookout. If you, if you control a Murloc, discover a Murloc. Currently, our deck contains one Murloc. And, it's a and it also contains one dragon. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, Razorfin Hunter, then. <laughs> yep, sounds right. <laughs> Maybe if I had actually picked up that Volcanic Drake, or the, the, that one Drake... There's a higher chance I'd pick another spite, but um But also the chance the adding one percent to your two percent chance is yeah. not that great. Right. So. Silverback Patriarch, woo, binding heel, woo, and Stranglethorn Tiger. And actual Hell yeah. Actual cards. Hell yeah, Tiger. Ooh. I love Ooh. the tiger. Firefly and Psychotron. I I always forget Psychotron's hanging out still in standard. Hmm. Anyway, I think I want more elementals for the Blaze Caller. 
And it is... A, Firefly is like... I'm really impressed by Firefly. It's very hard to make a one-drop that feels balanced and works well within, like, its uh, archetype. Because one-drops are pretty, like, restrictive as far as, like, what you can do for power. Yeah. But I like it a lot because it just, you know, leave that little one-two in your hand and hold on to it until you, you need to blaze it. Or it's a two-mana two-four, functionally. <laughs> yep. yep. So... Yeah, it it fills curves too. Like you play it on one, and then like you play your two drop, you play your three drop, and then on four you like play a three drop, play another one, like make full mm -hmm. use of your mana. Twisted Worgen versus two cards that aren't named Twisted Worgen and also aren't terribly great. Gadgets and Socialite and the Zealous Initiate. I I have a I like Twisted Worgen as far as the two drop is concerned. Gadgets and Socialite is an activation of our hero power attached to a two two. You know, that's better than you other classes get for activations of their hero power. Yeah. Like But it's still Twisted Morgan. Yeah. Ah, speaking of activating our hero power, we have Light Spawn, Egg Napper, and Silence. Oh, Light Spawn's an elemental. Yeah, Light Spawn's an elemental, so that's shit. <laughs> I think that's actually a pretty easy choice. Yeah. Uh I'm not familiar with every single card that got adjusted to be an elemental in base. I know like the obvious ones, water elemental. That's yeah, the fun. problem is that there are some things that look like what the game calls elementals that are demons instead. You know? Oh, so it can be hmm. hard to keep track entirely. Well, Silverback Patriarch is back again trying to get me to pick it versus Cult Apothecary and Biofit and Tidehunter, which is well, one of these is a two. Yeah. We're, we actually have a pretty good setup on twos now. I have like four or five that I'd be happy to play on curve. That uh, is true, but no, four I, or five is still not enough of them, right? Right. It means it more means that I'm happy with where the deck is going uh, rather than, no, I shouldn't pick it. So Stormwatcher, which is like maybe the best generic Wind Fury minion they've printed in a, quite some time. Yeah, it's rather big, and also if we get Inner Fire, that can be a stupid combo that I would love. Yeah. Well, getting Inner Fire is very diff difficult, because that was one of the cards that got rotated out of the arena. Well, it can still happen. Yeah. Let me I, dream. I know. I said, no, I, I said difficult, not impossible. Like, you can discover it under, like, you know, discover a, 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 a one drop or discover a priest card. Speaking of, we haven't seen any of those yet. And it's, yeah. Oh, man. I like those cards a lot. So, uh, there are some, the devs said there are some things that aren't elementals literally just for, like, gameplay power level reasons. That makes sense, honestly. Yeah. So, Stegadon, though, is, is also, like, I like this taunter. It's just a 2-6 taunt, which is worse than... Um, what it's a, it, but it's a power shifted uh Sengen Shield Master. One less attack, one more health. Yep, still good. Also is a beast. I think I might just want that for curve. I don't really know if I want like another seven. I'm I'm probably sure pretty sure I do want some more top end, but I don't think Stormwatcher is that top end, you know? Yeah, Stormwatch we don't really have that many things that synergize or rather anything that synergizes with Wind Fury. Yeah, I'm looking at everything I have. I have... Mm, wow, my spell count is... In the toilet. Wow, it's, it's a shadow word pain. All right. Yeah. Oh! Big Game Hunter, Dragonfire Potion, and Shadow Visions. I think we found... Oh, we got... A good choice. Yeah. Well, as I just said, my, my spell count is in the goddamn toilet, so Shadow Visions might, like... <laughs> there's a there's a non-zero chance if I pick that card it would whiff. Yeah. In that case, it's Dragonfire Potion or Big Game Hunter probably leaning towards the potion maybe. I th I think the potion because like we don't have like super so we we only have one dragon right now, but we actually have a number yeah. of minions that live through a 5 damage sweeper. Um Gurabashi, Nesting Rock, uh, Blaze Collar, Volcano Source, Stegadon, all live through a five damage sweeper, and also it's a five damage sweeper, <laughs> right? So, hey, it's our favorite tiny little taunt poisonous snail. It's 
good snail. I like this. I like this one. The stubborn gastropod. It's versus violet illusionist and thought steel. Which are actually things that we could consider. Right. Those are good. But yeah. Violet Illusionist is effectively textless in this in this uh deck. Yeah. Uh Thought Steel is class. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how you'd pull it. I guess in this class it would be like if you were doing some sort of Octni combo thing. I don't know. You cast Holy Fire on the Paladin whose secret is Eye for an Eye, and then you get hit by the Eye for an Eye. Yeah, or like you kill a Leper Gnome. Yeah. In the arena. <coughs> I'm going to pick Stubborn Gastropod. I really like this card. Um, basically, we'll always trade up. Like, yeah. There's, there's very little way for it to not trade up. Uh, Holy Nova, Zubot, and Divine Spirit. Third Sweeper might not be bad. How how's Zubot look? Uh, Murloc. Wow, our two drops in order are Murloc, Dragon, Beast, Beast. <laughs> like, oh, Zub Zubot might be real in this deck then, huh? Yeah, we have a decent number of beasts in the deck, which is odd for a. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five beasts. Six beasts in this deck. We're a priest. What the hell? <laughs> I've seen I've seen hunter decks with less beasts in the arena. Yeah. On the other hand, Holy Nova though. Right. Holy Nova gives us a third sweeper and a good one at that. Um Tusker is a beast, so that's like six and a half. We probably could use some more threes though. Yeah, that's like, we only have the two, and we want to show up our uh, curve, which means we need do need more threes and fours. Yeah, we have two other sweepers. Let's let's go for curve play rather than that. Oh, yeah. well, we can add another beast. Yeah, you're you're not wrong that Ungoro is full of neutral beasts, but that's still a very strange thing to me. Like when mm. I think of beasts, most of the cards I think of are like class cards. All right, Kooky Chemist, Spawn of Zoth, and Grotesque Dragonhawk. Yeah, cookie. thinking about it, compare Grotesque Dragonhawk to that new vanilla Wind Fury guy who has eight health and only one functionally two less attack. Yeah, I I like that. I like that one a lot more than the Dragonhawk. Yeah, like mostly because Dragonhawk isn't liable to just die on its first attack. It is, it is a lot more liable to die on its first attack. I'm gonna go with the chemist. We can probably make use of that. We have some high toughness things. Maybe we can flip those on, around on our. On their head. Mm -hmm. uh, how much? Okay, we got seven picks left. Temple Enforcer, Youthful Brew, Grook Fu Master. Ooh. I feel like we're actually heavy enough on twos that I can pass up on Youthful Brew for Temple Enforcer. That's fair. And Temple Enforcer is... If I'm talking about, like, top end that I like, that that's good stuff. You know? Yeah. We have a light spawn, we can throw it on if, if that happens. But also just, you know, throwing plus three health on Nesting Rock or Gurabashi. Loot Hoarder, Emerald Reaver. The one drop that deals the damage to each player. And Pterodox Hatchling, 2-2 two -two with Adapt for three. I'm thinking this is just a Loot Hoarder, the other two don't speak to me at all. <laughs> Yeah, Teradox Hatchling. Is that the worst adapt creature? Because that can just be a 3 mana 3 3 or a 3 mana 5 2. I think that of all the adapt cards, Teradox Hatchling is the worst one. Like, yeah. Because all the other adapt cards are generally like above the curve after they adapt. This one's either below or, or on curve. Right. Like, the best you get out of it is going to be like on curve basically always like every yeah. single outcome is like a minion that already exists you know ice rager uh that sort of thing or a three three with no text or a poisonous minion at three mana two two which you get stealth if you choose that or is there you... a three mana three three with no text there is not three mana three three with no text there is a three mana three 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 four with no text yeah there and there are many three fours and four threes with text a two, yeah, a two mana two two, a four, three mana two two that can't be targeted, a aka a worse fairy dragon. Like every outcome with it is just kind of worse than, worse than or equal to, uh, like 
every other card. Like, you're paying a lot more for the versatility, whereas with, like, Volcano Soar, its worst outcomes still put it above most other cards at its weight class. Yeah, so Loot Order, definitely. Yeah. Power Shield, Infested Torrid, and Raid Leader. Hmm. Kind of like Power Word Shield. Yeah. Make decent trades. How much... How hard up are we like for taunt effects yeah, not terrible i want to say we're not really we it's, have a fair number of taunts if stegadon tolvir if tolvir's on nesting rock if nesting rock is on <laughs> the snail oh the snail yep yeah i like powered shield temple enforcer big time racketeer friendly bartender Ooh, i want more sixes let me take a look quick at twos and how many of these are actually playable on two. Bilefin, Fairy Dragon, the the Wrong Crab, Loot Hoarder, the Snail, Twisted Worgen, that's six. Volatile Elemental and Shadow Word Pain are a little more like you can't always play them on two. Yeah. So I think we're still good on those. Maybe another Temple Enforcer? Another Temple Enforcer doesn't sound bad. Do I have... No, I passed up on the the pick em on the brew, so... Ooh, okay. Now, now we got some purple choices. Forbidden Shaping, Charged Devil Soar, and Scaled Nightmare. Char char hmm. Charged Devil Soar is uh, one hell of a, like, removal spell. Yeah. You're not wrong. And Forbidden Shaping is like, I want to just make sure I get a drop on this turn, or, you know, you play it on 8. And Well, actually, you can't fish for Ragnaros anymore. Oh. You can fish for a Ragnaros. <laughs> okay, fine. You're still fishing for Tyrion and Ragnaros, it's just not the Ragnaros yeah. you were actually thinking of. Yeah. And, I, well, okay. I guess if you actually fish on 8, you could get Charged Devil Soar whose battle cry won't trigger if it's, like, summoned in that manner. So you could, like, if you needed damage to the face in that manner, you could just get Charged Devil Soar and count that. Yeah. Hmm. Basically what I'm saying is I'm not picking Scaled Nightmare here. Probably Charged Devil Soar, just because it's, it's the known thing, and yeah. it's good. But Forbidden Shaping can be exciting. Yeah. I'm gonna, I don't think I've played with the Devil Soar either, so I'm going to do that. Fair. Uh, Bilefin, Owl, and Emerald Reaver. I think I'm still fine on more Bilefins. Is do I, do I have a source of silence, silence not as valuable anymore? Because I, I was going to suggest the Owl. Hmm. Silence is still valuable, it's just that my value on Owl has gone down because like Spellbreaker exists and costs one more. Yeah. Also, we're in a class that's supposed to be very good at, like, silencing, and we just did, like, you know, the 5-mana five 5 five. We just don't have any of those. And we're not going to get mm -hmm. one of those, because our next pick is going to be a rare or better. So, maybe. But well, you can pick the, the Tidehunter still if you want to. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with the Tidehunter. I just... I'm sorry, Owl. I, you, cost, too you cost three too mana. Big. You cost three mana. What's our final pick? Mind Control Tech, Stampeding Kodo, and Eater of Secrets. Hmm. It's MCT, right? Yeah, it's MCT. I was yeah. just, I, I was doing a count on... Kodo is actually not, like, a, is real. Like, you know, uh. that's, that's not, like, a fake choice here either. Um, but MCT is pretty good. MCT is just one of those is is uh also seems to have like a higher value these days. It's it I've just seen boards fill a lot quicker. I think the Firefly and those effects do a lot more with it. Yeah, and MCT is just when it works, it is such a huge <laughs> blowout. <laughs> and when it doesn't, it's a three mana three three with no text, so Yeah. <laughs> oh, let me hold on. I almost I I almost didn't make my yeah, while you while you're doing that, I'm grabbing a drink. Okay, I'm gonna make the I'm going to make the the deck for on the side, and then everybody else, you can go ahead and guess what this one will be. 
Uh, how do you think this one's going to end up? This one seems like a very straightforward deck, not a ton of things that are very powerful going on in it, is in my evaluation. Like, we have some powerful effects. Um, we, we have some decent controlling effects. We have a, a couple sweepers. We don't have big removal. We don't have... You know, that's sort of a problem with Priest, though, I think, in general, without Entomb. But, like, we don't... We, we have, like, Charge Devil Sword, I think, is our only real big removal. Uh, I guess Blaze Caller can take down something sizable as well. But... The curve is really nice, and I think that gets you a lot of games just on its face. Like, you know, as long as your curve is good, like, the rest of it just kind of falls to... At least just in, in my findings. Uh, that looks lined up to me. Zubot. Oh, uh, the good old Zubot. Wow, this actually looks like a deck that, like, the Curator would have been a pick for. You know? Yeah. This would have been a hell of a deck with, uh... With the Curator hanging out. Ah, oh, alright. Alright, so I am just about putting up the deck. The deck should be up, and then I fit and move it over there. Yeah, I just, I wish the owl was better. Yeah, the, did the owl used to cost two? Yes. I have a feeling that it did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. They changed it from two to three at the same time they did a whole bunch of other changes, such as Force of Nature not being you win the game, right. or uh, Keeper of the four mana two four that was either silence or two damage which we game a two two yeah hmm the reason they said then is that they wanted to pull back on silence and honestly it feels like they wanted to make silence more of a class feature rather than a neutral feature yeah I suppose so they did not change spellbreaker Spellbreaker was unchanged. It was a 4-mana 4-3, and it remained a 4-mana 4-3 at the same time. The, th the reason why Spellbreaker is fine is because Silence is okay at 4, kind of regardless. Whereas Cheap, that still has a body attached to it, can be seen as too strong. Well, check out our Menagerie deck with Fairy Dragon, Glocka Crawler, and Bilefin Tidehunter. Sounds good. I I'm going to go ahead and mull mulligan our 4-drop and get us something a little more playable on curve. Um, and then probably go ahead and play out Bilefin on one. Traveler. Yeah. Greetings. <sighs> So, Biofin on one, the reason I'm doing a Biofin on one play is because it makes a Bloodfin Raptor play look really, like, suspect. Because I can just, you know, trade up. Mind if I roll knee. Okay. And that, that's Ooh. still pretty good into our board. Well, from us. Yeah. For us. Okay, and then I think here is a good, like, Fairy Dragon play. Fairy Dragon or Twisted Worgen are both good, I think. Yeah. Basically the same effect. They're just both untargetable. Right. I'm gonna go with Fairy Dragon specifically because of that one uh, spell that Hunter got that's like a tiny bite. Hey, it's Huffer! Hey, Huffer! <laughs> always Huffer. It's always Huffer. What did you expect? Ooh. There was also the 1 in 25 or so chance that we would draw Zuba and destroy them. That was, that was the other thought here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, that would have felt really good. Uh, instead, I'm going to go ahead and play Worgen and Crystalline Oracle, as that is the most board presence I can muster, most power I can muster, and allows me, like, a little more flexibility in trading. You know, I think they were actually looking for Misha there. That would have that would have been a two for one. They they hit us for four at least. Oops, scavenging hyena. Do you have a backup for that? Or are you. Oh, Adapt a Beast. Alright. That card's good. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Solid choice. Spicy. 
Alright, I think Stegadon's my play. Is this just Stegadon face for seven? I think so. I think you just ignore their board. Yeah, because I don't really want to... Well, ooh, no, 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 no. Hmm, I might want to kill that Crackling Maw. No. No, that's fine. Stegon on face. And, yeah, I was going to suggest put it over to the left because you've got your two untargetable things. Yep. Well, one untargetable thing now, but... Yeah. Let's... Actually, I'm going to go ahead and kill off the 3-2. Alright. So my thought process there is that I'll get to keep Stegadon around, and then I can just, like, two damage to Hyena with the Stegadon, and then one damage with the Crystalline Oracle. Or, if they attack, and then I can, like, heal it up and play Scarlet Crusader. Mm -hmm. Whereas if I do it the other way, I'll lose Stegadon, and, like, having a 3-1 seems worse than having the Stegadon around. Even though that would get us extra damage on our opponent. Right. Yeah. I like that adapter, by the way. This this crackling razor maw, which is just a uh, bloodfen raptor with text. <laughs> like... <laughs> Ooh, okay. And I guess I've been shown what for. That's fine. We would have had a very similar outcome in the, uh, in the other way. Um... I think before I commit to any lines, I should check my Crystalline Oracle card. He... <clears throat> like, trade in a Hyena with the with the Fairy Dragon, and then trade in this 2-1. Okay, then yeah. That's that's what I was going to do anyway. It's just that I, I thought you were saying that we should run our 1-1 one, one into the 6 no, 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 no. Ooh, dogs. Ooh, dogs. I wasn't sure what Yomi level you were operating at if you were suggesting us do that for some reason. I think I'm gonna go with Scarlet Crusader loot hoarder loot hoarder here. For the crusade! They do just have an onboard kill for the loot hoarder, but it still draws us a card, so it's not right. a big deal. Well, the, the that that play actually changed with the draw of Unleash the Hounds with dogs. Yeah. Because if he yeah, just kills, yeah, if he kills the loot hoarder, then I just make dogs, and I can, you know, no I can solve things from there. And if he doesn't kill the loot hoarder, and I take four, it's like okay, then I then I just don't care. Mm -hmm. Just looks like what's happening here. I think I'm taking six. Okay. I think from here. This actually just looks like Stranglethorn Tiger, if I'm being honest. Just, is it time to for us to try to race the, the Hunter Van? Uh, no, 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 I'm going to at least have the Scarlet Crusader, like, knock off one of these two. Yeah, okay, fair. Because that's like a free kill. Mm -hmm. But, this way, again, they might go for... Oh, they're, they're going for their getting their zip gunner off. Their spicy zip gunner. MCT is probably just going to have to get played. I don't think that waiting on it's going to be any good. Okay. Alright, so Consult Loot Hoarder is step one. Ooh. Ooh. Consult Loot Hoarder is definitely step one. Maybe we can draw into a Murloc. That looks nice. Yeah, that's that's also just a good play right now, as it is. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I like having huge power on board right now, because they have a pumped card they didn't play last turn, this far left one. And I'm worried that, like, they've been going a little aggressive to face. Okay, there's, uh... Oh man, am I making one dog? I think you're making one dog. I think I'm making, it's just... I'm making one dog. You're playing that what? That's the 3-1 charge neutral guy? <laughs> yeah. That's what you just played right there. And then we play Zubot. Get in, and I'm going to go ahead and play the pirate eater. Not the pirate. This isn't the pirate. It's just a beast. 
Every set has to have mandated Bloodfin Raptor with text. Not every set, but you're you're not wrong. King's Alec was that. Okay, Frozen Crusher, Carrion Grub. I can put my opponent to. Oh, that's a good draw. Yeah, it is. We can put our opponent to. It Four. looks like two. Yeah, two, two. Yeah, it's two. Sorry, I was I was thinking I was thinking something else with this crawler. I'm like, no. Yeah, I can put him just to two. Put him to two and put up taunt sounds pretty good. Yeah. I think. What can a hunter do to sweep? Best, honestly, their actual sweep would be something like uh, uh, call the wild. Yeah. But even that wouldn't actually take away enough of the power off my board. That would kill three things at most. We have, yeah. and they would only be able to follow up with one mana. So. Well, also, I'd, I'd counter that with MCT pretty damn hard. Yeah. I guess there's, there's any number of reasons why that doesn't work. Really. I guess they could MCT us. But if they MCT us, they would need to to get the one in four, and then after the one in four, they would need in seven mana to have. 10 damage or five mana to have eight damage and that's yeah that's a high bar like that's that's like a double kill command or something and that's on top of everything else here like they'd have to have mct land and their so their hand would have to be mct kill command kill command and the mct lands well okay that's like an mct all right what else you got bud now if you have a way to kill my taunt without like Using that's okay. So now again, five mana, ten damage. There's that bite. The world's smallest explosive shot. Oh no! The crab is gonna get him. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. Every day you're devoured by crabs, and there's nothing you can do about it. This is a feeding crab to hell. Yep, welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome to Crab Hell. It was the Prometheus right. Prometheus, for his crimes, was chained to a rock as a crab eats his liver every day. <laughs> well, thank you, crab. Yeah, I guess our opponent was a pirate. Mm hmm. Uh, the bite was a panic. Uh, they were, like, just trying to figure out how to get out of the situation they were in and realized they didn't actually have the, 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 damage they needed. Yeah, makes sense. If the bite did three damage, it would have been enough to like kill the crab flat, and then we would have been... I would have had to sweep. Which wouldn't have been that bad. I just played Dragonfire and MCT and pass, and then, like, we're there in the same position again. There's two variations on Explosive Shot in this set, huh? And one of them is in Hunter, the other one in Mage. Yeah, the one in Hunter is, like, a fair card that is pretty reasonable for its cost and, and is, a, is a pretty good card. The one in Mage is, is like... It's disgustingly good because it's a mage this? spell. Yeah, what is this garbage? <laughs> like, mage mage cards in this set are so unreasonable. It's it's kind of ridiculous. I'm going to claim yeah. a Tide Hunter here. I've been playing, uh, like... I Oh, I guess I'm going to play a lot of Tide Hunters here. It's like, remember Flame Lance? That's a card that existed. Yeah. Five mana for eight damage to one thing. Here's six mana for 15 damage to one thing and three to two others. Yeah. They All wanted right. to print Shivan Meteor is what they wanted to do. It is. I'm going to go ahead and just play the Fairy Dragon in the center. I know it seems smart. Matter, but, you know. Uh, yeah, I played some, I did Eternal earlier, though I kind of started that late just because of circumstances. Like, I usually want to start things at, uh, like a bit earlier, but, then, you know, sometimes that's just not how things happen. Um, what the heck do I want to do here? Like, trade with that, obviously, but, like, how? Uh, that's a good question. Unfortunately, we can't pump our yeah. three two be the easiest. Uh, <laughs> I know option. it sucks. It kind of makes me want to like trade it off and then just play MCT and forget that MCT has text. Yeah, I'm with 
implosion gone and has been for a while, but like it's yeah. not likely that on wizard. Uh, wow, my words. Warlock is going to flood the board, really. Right, unless they like on five, they might. They might play Karakazam. That's you know you're not wrong. Hmm. Let's let's use our MCT. Arenas with le le I think it's like 50-50 so far in this. Chill and Yeti. All right, I can deal with that. Speaking of flooding the board, geez. Oh, actually, this looks good. Like I can, I can, so I can power word shield MCT, take those out with that that attack there, and then, yeah. uh, you know, like play Razor Vent Hunter if I have nothing else. Ooh, that's nice. Don't mess with us. <laughs> Wizard is a Diablo class, not a, a Warcraft class. Well, wi Diablo Wizard definitely gets Meteor, and it definitely gets all sorts of Meteors that just, like, murder everything. Alright, Stampede and Kodo. Of course it hits the best one, but that's how Stampede and Kodo works when I'll, your opponent plays it. Oddly enough, I'm actually... I it, I think it would have been worse for a day at the Ooze. <laughs> this dumb that's taunt fair. There. By the way, my play here is, like, Literally just like five to face, play another Biofin, heal up the MCT because we have nothing else. Mm -hmm. If our opponent has Dread Infernal, this game's over. That's bad. <laughs> that's what I would consider not good. That was probably gonna happen anyway if they had Dread Infernal. Yeah. Hmm. I'm a hedge. And by that I mean I'm going to hedge so that my Temple Enforcer next turn could just give MCT health and beat that up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the actual bet. World's biggest mind control tech. Yeah. Even high. Uh. <laughs> People have had that work more than once. This card works all the damn time. That that hog. Yeah. All right, let's get some health. Let's do the beat down. Okay. We have Volcano Sore next turn. We have another Temple Enforcer if that if that's demanded. Like, yeah, if Temple Enforcer was a... Well, here's the thing. Also, there's a billion taunts in this set, you know? Yeah, that's true. That's a weird one. What's and I'm going to go ahead and defend my misspeaking about wizards. And that there are entirely too many wizards in the world, no matter how many there are anyway, and that sometimes just oozes into my brain and mouth. Yeah. I think about it. So we have one obvious trade, and then I have to figure out what my play is after that, because like we don't actually have a great play into the ogre. <laughs> I must consider... Which is a bit dumb. All it happens. Yeah. Um I think it might just be Volcano Sore here. Let's see what our daps look like. Wind Fury. Yeah, Wind Fury. Stats also might not be bad. Yeah. For sticking alive in front of that boulder fist. I'm gonna go with stats. Yeah, there we go. Plus three health is really good too. Or Divine Shield, actually. I, I think about it. Divine Shield's actually better. Also, I'm gonna make a dumb yeah. trade here. Oh, yeah, it's pretty dumb, but I like it. This is a really dumb trade. Um, the Mortal reason... Coil, me. Mortal yeah. Coil, us. Well, Just right, right now, do it. They've had, like, four turns where I've said, like, and Dread Infernal would own me, and they failed to mm -hmm. produce a Dread Infernal, so I don't believe in it. The reason I'm doing it this way is that if I didn't do it this way, the Boulder Fist Ogre would take out the Temple Enforcer from full, and I would have no 2-1 on the board to, to kill it back, which yeah. I now do. Um... Also, my I feel pretty protected in having a Boulder Fist Ogre with a sh with a bubble. <laughs> Think of a number. That number is still too many wizards. Yes, even you, the person who's thinking negative two right now, that's still too many wizards. Mm -hmm. You love my new Ooh. Ooh. 
Build your own volcano sore. That's good. That's, that's good play. <laughs> BYOV. Yeah. Taunt. Taunt's a good play there. I don't think the other thing matters. I don't. I don't. Also, they're gonna run out of time if they take up too much. That's a confusing choice because we oh. have the one six. They didn't make it in time. Oh no. <laughs> they were. They timed out. Um. Sweet beast, by the way. Right. Uh, I think my my play is flood the board here, and my attacks are also accounted for, and none of my yeah this the, I don't have choices on this turn, do I? Nope. All Follow right. your heart. All right. Uh, yeah. They're gonna get our volcano sword. Yeah. That's fine. They have to do two for one on it, so. Yeah. Well, that, uh, yeah, yeah. And then I've got ten damage back to the dome? Like. <laughs> also a temple enforcer? Ooh, we're tapping on five cards in hand? I like these odds. Five cards in hand, 16 life when your opponent has lethal on board, although you're going to fix that problem. Right. Do they actually have an abyss? No, they don't. Okay. Right. Sated Threshadon. I'm ignoring That's the... you. I have lethal. Yep. That's a smart way of doing it. Good work. Oh, am I one short? Oh, boy. I thought I had... Oh. I was one short on that. Ah. I counted... I Oh, I... Oh, right. I counted this one power as ten, and then I counted the four as four. Whoopsie! Oh, dang. Do math better next time. <laughs> okay. There we go. Thank you. My opponent agreed I had a lethal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they thought your math worked fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry. The actual trick there is, like, how the hell were they coming out of that? Like... Yeah. <laughs> False abs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not doing any of these quests, am I? Oh, well. So, oh man, wizards. Have I ever told you about, I played a, I played like a, a Pathfinder character who was a dwarven wizard who wanted to destroy all wizards in the world. He, he was certain that every... That if there was more than if there was one wizard in the wor world, that was two wizards too many, and was just on a yep. quest to kill all the wizards. So, like, would the culmination of their quest, after all other wizards were done, would he just give up wizardry forever? Um, I only got to play him for a short amount of time. I probably should could have kept that elemental. Um, but the uh, the the sort of running joke is that like. He would cast wizard spells, but they would always come out as, like, fists. Right. And, like, he didn't consider himself a wizard. Uh, and and the party, like, wouldn't call him on it. Which, again, was the joke, because he's a wizard. And he also is, is part of the problem. Yeah, do not cross wizards. Um, They're flighty and quick to anger. I think this is just coin this. That's, yeah. That's the only play that looks good. Good top deck, though. All other plays that we could have had would have gotten eaten by the, the mistress yep. and not had a huge... Speaking of things that uh, the gashapod will sometimes trade down for, that's one of them. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna play both of these. Yeah, at this point, there's a uh, enough reason to do it. I think he, our opponent, is going to trade the the two one here. The other option there, which actually thinking about it, could have been stronger, was just heal crawler heal the crab. Yeah, heal crab. Yeah. Hmm. 
Heal Crab might have been a stronger play there. Yeah, hmm. That's fine. We'll work around it. Yeah. So many possibilities. I don't think about, like, the heal play when it's that small. Okay, that, that plus one plus one doesn't really mean anything. On a board full of just two health and two damage. Yeah. Yeah. Also, that would have punished the hell out of heal crab shit. <laughs> okay. Turns out we were right. Yeah. Even in hindsight. Hindsight, mother. <laughs> Alright, well. This is. And he's going face for three. Yeah, face for three, because I'm the one who's going to be making the trade. And let's see what's in our. Let's see what we get first before considering other plays. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somebody said our deck didn't have legends. Yeah, but guess what? It also doesn't have spells. We have a six drop in our hand. We'll be fine. Oh, I love playing an eight mana seven seven that gives us a one a lights justice. Yeah. Sorry, not a lights justice. A heavy axe. What's our spell count? Three. We've got one of them in our hand. We've got a power word, shower word pain. Yeah, we've got a power word shield, the shadow word pain, and all right, I'm gonna take a look at this list. Shadow word pain. I think That's, it's just those. Is three. that seriously it? It's just those three. We are the, the least spell heavy priest of all time. Oh my goodness! It. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Also, I think we picked basically every spell offered, so that's nice. Well, Light Spawn plays well against that. Uh, Chemist doesn't, but... Also, uh, I want that thing off the table because my Sweeper fails to kill it. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> okay, tapping. Oh... That's... That's rough. Yeah, and there's nothing I can... I just have to give it up. Mm-hmm. Well you, you got me. Your snail was significantly better than ours. See, the, 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 the trick is that that play is the one that gets oh. super... Oh, my goodness. I can't... Again, I still can't... Oh, that's actually good. Uh, so the reason this is a good draw is because I can, like, just try to save Stranglethorn Tiger from death here. Mm -hmm. If for whatever reason they don't kill the tiger, well, no, not really. Yeah, no, I think I have to heal face. Yeah. Because... We don't have enough mana to heal it, and also potion. Right. And even then, that's, that's asking, do you want to kill the, the tiger or not? Which you probably do. Right, I want that, I want this off the table. I just want Twilight Drake off the table. I'll take, I'll, you know, that, that's fine. Mm -hmm. If they do have a mortal coil to punish me not healing... Okay, they, they have a mortal coil to punish me for that, that choice. I'm dead? Yeah, ma basically. Wow. I'm going to four and then dying on the turn following unless something... I'm probably just dead here if I'm being okay. More eight eights. That's... Yeah, that's it. Stylish way to go out, at least. Yeah. Damn. I think that snail was the real, like, just that was the kick. We couldn't do two damage, so we lost the game. Well, I mean, our deck has exactly one card we could have top decked in that situation. Yeah. And it's Shadow Word. 
yeah, that's the only top deck we had at that point was Shadow Word. Yeah. Our deck is in dire need of interaction. That was just something not available to us in most circumstances. <laughs> yeah, we just weren't ever really offered interaction choices. But, that's fine. I'm always okay with, like... Personally, I'm, I, I, I am just fine when it's like, okay, this is a loss that was just out of control. Like, mm -hmm. you, you, you had no... Like, you know, you can look on your li on the lines you could have taken, and none of them were actually good. You were losing this game 100%. Um, because, I don't know, I, I tend to look back at my losses a lot like that, and it's like, okay, well, was this something I messed up on? Was this something I could have improved on? Or, what you know, what could have gone differently? And it's... it's Both always... players played correctly, but another player drew better. Yeah. Basically. Ooh, okay, Tiger. I kind of hope our opponent gives me reason to play this Volatile Elemental. I'm probably just going to on two regardless. <sighs> the only play that punishes this is Totem Call into a 1-1. One -one. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, like, I don't know, Earth Shock or like things like that can answer it, but that's not pun that's different from punishing it. Out of my jungle. That is going to die. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's actually very solid. It, we actually were fine oh, playing this in, in hindsight now. Alright. What do you think the odds are that's Halak here, the Windlord? Uh eighty percent. Alright, what do they think the odds are that that's um Earth Elemental? <laughs> uh, also 80%. <laughs> that card's I'm good at math. <laughs> what I'm saying is that this card scares the hell out of me. Yeah, shaman taunts are across the board really good, because there's only two of them, I think. Nice well, Paladin... Paladin is the one that I find the funniest. Um, because Paladin gets, uh... So, Paladin in class taunts are Tyrion, uh, the the 2 2 Divine Shield Lifelinker, right. the 3 7 that makes everything into a 3 3, and the 6 6 that gives Divine Shield to the two adjacent minions. So, they're also all pretty good. Every single one of them is ridiculous, just flat. Yeah. Okay, I can just take out that Glacial Shard. Which is fine. Take out. Oh no! <laughs> it's right. got power now. Right, let's consult. What's our new card? Devolve. That's super good in case they actually play Earth Elemental next turn. <laughs> yeah. Because if that's they... actually pretty solid cut. Yeah, well, they can't play it this turn. I'm sorry, they're overloaded to four, so they can't, but... Ooh. What happens if you devolve zero? That, that's all that happens. Also, these are ones, actually, to the totems. So. Oh, ooh. Stegadon feels good. Stegadon... Worgen? Yeah, because, like, the other play would be Stegadon. Attack with the 5-5, five, five, heal up, heal it up to back to full. That actually might be better. Yeah, could take out their... What if we kill them? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill the one. I, like I could kill the swordsmith. That, that that'd be a valid target too. But I also just want like the biggest thing that's currently on the board off it for the moment. That is getting more power off the board because the damage from the swordsmith happens at the end of their turn, so they can't use it immediately. Yeah. And you know it's not as important as getting rid of that two four. Okay. That's not generated. Okay, never mind. That's just something that they have.
I think Devolve is probably a good play here on this anyway, just to circumvent that uh, Death Rattle, even though it's not likely to come up because that's a shuffle into your deck, right? I think I'm still okay with the Death Rattle because it's shuffle into the deck. I just need to clear the game out quicker, which I can with the Volcano Soar. Fair enough. Okay. Like Volcano Soar as Wind Fury plus power here. All right, plus attack. Um, Divine Shield or Divine Stealth? Shield. Or plus the health. Just make just it make huge? It. Yeah, just make it an 8 9. That's an option. All right, let's just make an 8 9. So the 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 10 10 is a a a 5 mana play. Uh that does mean if I devolve it it'll devolve into a 4. 7 mana 8 9 is uh pretty fair. Okay. Well, in that case they would have been like stealth. Yeah, the the stealth. But that was the reason I was after. I was actually after the uh, fairy dragon protection, but that wasn't an option. Oh, two damage, please. Damn. Of course not. Damn. That sucks. All right. Well, there goes my biggest threat. I'm just gonna flood the board with a billion dudes. Go. Mm -hmm. you, they you, just used their sweeper. You so. just used the sweeper, so let's uh <laughs> let's punish that. Double sweeper is fake. Here comes this is like Maelstrom Portal territory right now. They're overloaded to six. Oh, okay. Okay, fine. It's an age-old adage I have, and that there are no correct plays in Hearthstone. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting use of Earth Shock. It's to prevent me from having damage enough to kill this. Right, fair. Um, I'm going to ignore the 8-8, which is like a, a bad play, but I'm going to. Mostly because Devolve, gonna... Devolve doesn't work. <laughs> Yeah, Devolve just turns it into something better than it. Yeah, I was so. gonna say, Devolve on this is Ysera shows up and then we die, like... Sure, I love turning this 3-mana creature into a 9-mana creature. Killing spree. I'm debating if I want to hold this elemental. Uh, we, have two, mm. we have two cards in our deck that want us to hold it. Yeah. I don't like passing up on boards, but, you know, it's fine. One of them would really help us get out of any given situation that could be coming up. Yeah. I'm waiting for that taunt to show up. That they, they Is it really just going to be Alec here? Like, is, okay, that's actually a good Shadow Word pain target. And that's a gigantic pain in the ass. Now I have to debate actually devolving. Or throwing my entire board away. What's the best case scenario for Sea Giant being devolved into a 9 cre mana creature? There isn't one. Okay, well... The best case we can hope hmm. for on it would be like... An 8-8 eight eight again. Noggin Fogger, I guess, would be the actual, like... Well, leave luck to heaven. There's an 8 8 again. Okay. That's not that bad then. Oh dear, did you actually draw a Maelstrom Portal? Oh, we're gonna undo! <laughs> 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 I 
Solid play. I like yeah. it. No pirates around here. I'm quite certain this one is out of hand. Yeah. They destroy everything on our board except for one. Yeah, they, they get rid of every single thing except for a 1-1, one, one, and they lose nothing in the process. And the op, like, we don't actually have a, a, like, a retort to it. Okay. Dragonfire Potion would kill everything except for their A7, but did we use that this game? I forget. No, we haven't. Yeah. But yeah, they haven't played their Discovered Taunt. I guess in that instance I should have put Onyxia down to make that a, a real... No, Onyxia can't die to it, no matter what I put it at. Onyxia is a dragon. Yeah, okay, like, never mind. That, that can't die to dragon fire poking no matter what, so it's not relevant to get its health down enough. Ten, twenty, seven, okay. Their card they have in hand is a taunt or you know, they, that they pulled off of uh, the their turn two play. Mm -hmm. Which we still don't know what that is. Oh, okay, it was thing from below. Oh, alright. So it wasn't actually that big of a deal. They missed lethal. Not that it matters. It, it literally doesn't. But had they done that attack first, they would have had 30 damage instead of 27. Why would you pick Wind Fury and then Stealth? You pick Wind Fury oh. because it's free, and then you pick Stealth so I can't target it. Yeah, never mind. Makes sense. For some reason, I thought it was the other way around. My brain... It's late in the morning. I know. I appreciate your spice. Plus one, plus one. No, <laughs> just give it taunt. <laughs> that card's very good, by the way. Yeah, I know. But yeah, so... I'm quite certain that, like, the, the devolving sea giant is just, like, there is no actual victory there, is the trick. Let me look at that. Yeah. I actually want to know this now. Nine mana minions, Hearthstone. Scenarius. King Crush, which is an upgrade. Oh, there's our actual one, Blade of Cthulhu. Jaraxxus proper. Cruel the Unshackled, which is basically the same thing. King Mosh. And then we have things like Giant Macedon Blood. An 8-8, a 9-9, a 6, yeah, like... Osric, a 5-5 five five with Taunt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Broke right. your bodies upon me. <laughs> I guess another one of our best options would have been just Jaraxxus, but... Oh well. Yeah options. I said options. It's right, just like the we longest have, of all words. Right, we have a lot of choice when we're playing cards like Devolve. Mm-hmm. Alright. Mage time. You asked for it. Mage is so early, huh? 
I'm happy to have a curve here, at least. Yeah, it's stuff that dies to ping, but that's still... Ooh, hey! It's stuff that dies to ping, but at least we get something out of the ping. Right, also if they ping, they're not advancing their board. And also if they ping the Crystalline Oracle, they're uh, super not advancing their board. They're giving up the coin. Mm -hmm. So... Also, Crystalline Oracle has a much high, ch a very high chance to give us something ridiculous. Get something good because they're a mage, yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me the meteor, you know that sort of thing. Fireball, flame strike, meteor, all this fire, more than enough fire for anyone to eat. Yep. We are overflamed. Kooky chemist returns. Oh. Okay. I think I can just play Gastropod into that. Yeah, fair. Hmm, or I could Power Word Shield. Have a Power Word Shield the Gastropod. I like the way you think. They would have to have, like, Frostbolt coin Pyro Power. Yeah. There's ways to get rid of it, but honestly, those ways are probably okay. Yeah. Uh, coin into... That's one. That does it. Alright, we get a bunch of cards for our trouble. That's fine. We get paid back. Also, basically everything we put into that board was free. So, yeah. Stegadon's our play here. The reason I like Stegadon is that it will, no matter what, trade with what happens next. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> if I... Fireball, hell yeah. Ugh, that's, that's kind of rough. Nah, I can flip it. I can just flip Cookie Chemist, flip the Stegadon and kill it. Okay, yeah, fair. Which, is, which is why, that was exactly why I was fine with the Stegadon play, it was because of that. I said the thing that we got out of their deck was a Faceless Manipulator. Yeah. So the thing we got out of their deck was another... Anything uh, out of their deck. Anything out of their deck. Alright. You know what, sure. Play a pirate. Nobody plays pirates. <laughs> in, 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 uh, in this, at least. If we're talking about, the, like, limited, or if we're talking about the constructed, like, there's pirates all over. Everyone plays pirates, yeah. yeah. There. Um... This thing rock ain't bad. Scarlet Crusader ain't bad, but doesn't have a lot of follow up. Maybe it's just nesting rock. I wonder. Wish I had taunt, but there's no way to make that happen. Yeah, for one mana too short. They can kill the rock by ramming both their things into it and uh, pinion it. Yeah. But that was much more likely to happen right there. Mm -hmm. Can we draw a murloc? No, okay. Murloc was the card I wanted most. I'm probably just going to play a Volcano Soar. Yeah, fair. Okay. All of the animation on this. Golden Massive is really good, yeah. Health. Health stealth. I want to copy that next turn is the, is the, is the real thing here. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good plan. So they can kill this rock, and it's but it it is an investment. You didn't play an you didn't play an elemental last turn. Maybe they want an elemental for next turn, or do they just want to uncurve minion? Yeah, that's fair. Okay, kind of want them to actually trade in, which they are going to because they played the steam surger. Alright, so we want to copy this. K. 
kill your biggest thing. Heal this? Yeah. Maybe. We go with that, and then... Firefly, because we get a 1-2 out of it into our hand anyway. Yeah, and it might waste some time on the Mana Soulcaster, because if they want this dead, they have to double hit it. And also, it, yeah. it's it's an elemental trigger in case we top deck something that cares. Okay, they just they just wanted a, a Steam Surger to trigger another Steam Surger. That's fair. <laughs> Welcome to the arena where rares are commons. Draw Shadow okay. Orb. Shadow Orb ain't bad here. That'd kill something on the board. Yeah, Shadow Word, take that out. I can heal this and then commit these two. Sure. They have a 1 2 elemental in their hand right there, and then some unknowns. This is a very flame strike resistant board right here. Yeah, they needed like they'd have to like ping this off. Yep. War golem, eh? War golem, huh? I guess I could just answer that with anti war golem. We could. Or we could play Temple Enforcer, heal this up, and then go like bump bump. Yeah, because we could heal it up. Play Temple Enforcer, and that would increase it to a 511. Then we could just bump it with the crab as well. Yeah. It would survive basically anything that they could throw at it. That's not true. It could die to anything that Mage could throw at it, but they didn't do it earlier, so. Particularly, they don't have like a Polymorph or. Right, hopefully. I'm gonna hold the little flame in hand. Mm hmm. No reason it. I want to get the Gurabashi out next turn if possible, but it's yeah. more, more, much more likely I'm playing Charge Devil Soar. Uh, yeah. If you bounce the adapt bonuses, they don't stick. Like if I if I bounce this, it's not. Okay, boom clock. This seems like an okay time to get Gurabashi down. Yeah. This still seems like an okay time to get Gurabashi down. Ooh. This seems like a really good time to get Gurabashi down and perhaps a tiger. Yeah. So, tiger in the center, which makes me meteor proof. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Rocks can't fall. Uh, and even, like, if they could, they, they aren't doing a lot. <laughs> you got it. Well played. I, ha I can't answer that card. <laughs> like... What do you want from me? An impossible snail. I know, the most uh, uh, most infuriating snail. So it's going to be weird, but I think we should hit the snail with our 6-3. Because it's going to die anyway. Yeah. And then we can kill the loop, the bomb squad with our Gurabashi and then... Consider. 3-3 three, three with the tag, or I don't know. Plus, we have a, a dinosaur. Well, yeah, let's do it this. Actually, hold on. Got a better plan? Because if you do, go right ahead, dog. 6, 11, 16. Okay, that's not lethal. <laughs> I was going to say, if I threw Charge Devil Sword at it, go face face, kill Bomb Squad, that's 16 damage, which isn't lethal. So I'm not yeah. going to do it. I'm, what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and. Make that trade. We're gonna go here. Charge Devil Soar is coming down. You're breaking stealth to go face, and then we're gonna go ahead and heal up the uh, Devil Soar to make our board extremely resilient. Yeah. Not that, quite. That last bomb was tragic. Yeah. <laughs> they actually got the double bomb on this, and then, which is what they needed to kill it, because then they could ping it and attack. Like, that's, yeah, that's but good, then but... it happened to. It hit the thing that made it so that that ruined their play. Yep. 
<clears throat> oh, bomber. I'm glad you're on my side. Okay, I'm well. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Those bombers aren't cheap. <laughs> Keeping that brand loyalty. Yeah. Hashtag brand loyalty. Bombers for days. <laughs> Liberty Bell, Liberty Bell. Cherry. Give me that bomber cola. Mmm. Good old oh. bomber classic. It's on Gurubashi. Ooh. None can escape my fury. The light shall bring victory. Delicious diet bombo. Okay. Uh. Gonna rock it this way. So this is the class that I think is most likely for a crawler to work in. Yeah, probably, because Squash, the, the random card guy, they play yep. on one. Hail, yep. friend. Greetings. And probably just that card, really. That's enough, but there's also, like, the 4-4 four -four that pumps your weapon. That's fair. And, uh, like, there's enough. There's enough good pirates in Rogue, specifically, that it makes sense that they would play them regardless. Have I unlocked? Yes, I have. I've, I've, I've done the quest for this. That's why I have three quests left. All right, so... Pretty obvious, too. Um, sure. Mimic pod. Ooh, crawler into Zubot? Sure, yeah. Pirates are fake. The Zubot's, like, you know, letting it eat that pirate anyway. Yep. That's an annoyance. Tide, oh man. If we had one more mana, we could Tide Hunter then Zubot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I wonder. Is Zubot still fine here? And if I did, would I just kill this egg napper off? I don't know. Waiting on it also could work with the bile fin. Like, I just go ahead and play Scarlet Crusader and hit my opponent in the face. Yeah, because Scarlet Crusader is kind of hard to kill, even with their board. They have to run it, both their things into it, and. Right. They will have a number of 1 1s on the next turn, so they'll have something to do against it, but. Yeah. I don't know, maybe for whatever reason they'll get distracted by the 3 power thing. Instead of using their, uh, like, creature power to your health efficiently. I found a play I like better. <laughs> there we go. Okay, there. <laughs> Solid play. There's a reason I, I take so long to, to look at all my things. <laughs> uh, hallucination's really good, by the way. Mm-hmm. Class cards are just strong, so being able to have your choice of a class card is generally going to give you what you need. Um, they might have, like, an eviscerate to follow this up with. Or maybe they just pick Shadowward Pain to kill off Crab. This is our oh, time. okay, that's, uh, that's definitely the type of... So far, ignoring boards. Shrug? Like... I think I'm gonna do a bit of cleanup on the board. Um, probably like play Twisted Worgen and like hit something and heal up. Yeah. So like hit the Fias, heal uh, the crab, and then play this in the middle. And the next turn, I can go ahead and play Murloc Zubot if this is still alive, which I kind of doubt. It's pretty likely to fall over dead. I guess I could prevent it from falling over dead if I really wanted to, but that feels a little transparent. Yeah, that that seems like you're trying to reach for value. Yeah, I don't think I need to. And even if it does, you know, that happens. even if it does die, there's a non-zero chance that we'll just draw a different beast anyway, because we have right. a pair number. The trick in this game is going to be timing that mimic pod. <laughs> mm -hmm. Damn! That is a strong choice. Shit. Oh, you know, of all possible choices, that one scares me the most out of, like, basically anything they could have done. <laughs> Just flat. Because, yeah, that, that expanded their choices from... 
I expanded their choice of discoveries like threefold. Yeah. Go ahead and take this out. And then. So they could have a priest. They could have a lot now. Like all of a sudden, it, 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 their options are much heavier. All right. So this is pretty. Like I, I think that play is obvious. The 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 uh, ooh phoenix. That's a good one. That's probably just gonna get my shadow word. Hey, they're finally throwing that to the wolves. Well, actually, maybe this doesn't give my shadow word, and I just make some threes. Kind of want to see what Mimic Pod has to offer. Sure. Nice. All right. <laughs> see, this is really good because after we play the first fancy team, it doesn't work. That means that they'll feel safe, and then they'll play out their entire hand. Yeah, unless they're like actually looking at the like, placement of cards in my hand, in which case they'll know immediately. Yeah, but who does that? Crap. Uh, I don't have a good answer to that. And I basically never will. Yeah, because even our own one isn't really a great answer to that. Yeah. Engaging TC-130, then pull this locator. Plays their own MCT, we play another one, get our own guy back. Yep. Please have a fourth play. Damn. Ah! Hell. Hell is freaking real. Welcome to hell. Do I just kill the 6-6 six, six here? I don't know. Kill the 6-6 six, six and then play out... ...our hand. That's also a fair idea. Thought about going face too, but I don't think that we, we would have been able to no. actually capitalize on that. No, that's that's why I didn't. And they have way too many. Like they have too many options in hand. Five cards. I don't want to go for the six six because at this point I don't want to simplify the board when I know they're gonna like put nine mana into it and I can't stop you them from doing it. Damn. Okay. That was their choice. That's also quite good. Okay. Well, MCT works. Let's try and get the 6x. Yeah, that's just gotta be what it is. We can go for the sure thing, but I don't think we win if we do that. Mm -hmm. That's just our, us playing to not lose as opposed to playing to win. Yeah, because, like, oh god. Engaging TC into this Damn. Not the worst result we could have got off of it. Yeah, we didn't have that many bad results. Um, I gotta heal face, I think. Yeah. Healing the 2 3 isn't gonna do anything. Well, healing the 2 3 prevents, like. Oh, I guess knife, yeah, but. If I have lethal, they have lethal. 
they don't have their their priest mage or warlock card anymore so they have to have lethal on their own merits which you know to be fair rogue is one of the best reach classes in the game that sucks that's really bad that also sucks is that enough to kill me no well, clearly not if they had enough to kill me they would have just taken me out right there yep So one thing I've figured from this is that the elemental stuff has just been absolutely horrible in this deck. We don't have enough. They've wasted enough. Yeah, we, we, we don't just don't. We, we just don't. Like, I think we had a total of like five elementals, and that's just not enough, I guess. Yeah. Two, three. Having Blaze Caller stuck in my hand is just very sad. It might have just been better on 7 to play my own Blaze Caller and let that happen. Yeah, maybe. Rather than, like, fish uh, and, like, wait on MCTs. Like, just accept that I'm not getting it, because, like, our our numbers on it just aren't good enough. Mm -hmm. Hey, Blade, how you doing? Uh, Deadly Poison, by the way, is one of their best cards in, that they have for the arena. The, like, make your weapon poisonous. Yeah. Like... I would pay something like, you know, for 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 multiple Doom Blades. I'm all Sounds in good. Hmm. I'm finding a running trend in doing the arena at like 3 a.m. I'll have to keep doing them to see if it is actually a trend or not, though. Anyway. That's all for tonight. I'm it's like three o'clock here. So. Yeah, it's uh, nearing in on 4 a.m. where I am, which is fine, because I stay up till then anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining on this one, Mighty Dectron. Yep. I, I'm i around during late nights a lot of the time. Okay. So. Good to know. And thank you, everybody in the zoo. Hope you all had a lot. Of, hope you all had fun with this one. I think... One th the best thing I think I'm going to take from this one is that I uh, the elemental plan is not, like, a guarantee... It's not a guarantee, and it turns out you may need more elementals than you think to make it actually, like, work, work. Yeah. I don't think I've seen it fail on the other side, though, is the trick. Oh, yeah, like, when you have a ton of elementals, then it will pretty much always work. Yeah. But... Like, the, the trick there is that most of the elementals are just, like, cards you want to pick anyway, so... But I, th I want to say you probably need like nine, eight or nine, and you're solid. You've you've got it to work almost every time. Yeah, if you can just keep like training them like that, that's fine. All right. Good night, everybody. Mm-hmm.